Today we're going to take a look at Sales Copilot in Microsoft Outlook. My name is Jesse Buchels and I'm a pre-sales architect at Stone Ridge Software. Let's take a look at how Sales Copilot is going to help us with Dynamics 365 and Microsoft Outlook managing our inbox. So I've got this email from Ryan Smith in this demo environment and we're using a web-based Outlook. Sales Copilot is going to really behave the same whether you're using the web-based Outlook or using the desktop Outlook application. I've got Sales Copilot enabled in this environment. If you do not, but you've got the permissions to do so, you can add Sales Copilot by drilling down into apps, going into add apps, and then just a quick search will find Sales Copilot in there. You can see I had it here available as well, but I've got a shortcut here. So if I crack this open, it's going to look just like the app for Outlook, if you're familiar with that, and maybe using that today with Dynamics 365. You can see I can also pin it here. So if I pin it now and when I pivot between emails, it's going to stay snapped to the right side of my screen. So a few things under the highlights section here that I can tell up front. We don't have Ryan Smith in our Dynamics 365 environment today. I can go in and I can create that contact quick. I can also save this email to Dynamics 365. And then down below, I've got the ability to start a draft using Copilot to help me respond to this email from Ryan Smith. So first things first, if I want to go ahead and add Ryan as a contact, you can see it's going to open up a form for me. And for sake of time, we'll just go ahead and save that. So now we've got a new contact already created in Dynamics. I could add some notes around this contact as well if I wanted to. And then down below now I've got a few more details. So we'll go back to our main screen here in Sales Copilot. And now I can see that I can also save this email to Dynamics 365. If I drill down into this other tab here, I'm going to have that contact card now. So I could open up the Ryan Smith contact card right here from my ellipses. So let's go ahead and save this email. And if I wanted to save it, uh, we can go ahead and we can connect it to an account if we wanted to. And I'm just going to say Northwind Traders. There we go. Let's get that account pulled up. All right. We'll save it there. And now we're going to see that relationship there being created between the email here uh, and you know, the Northwind Traders account. So we've got that saved. If I come back into my highlights, I've still got the ability now to create a draft email. So maybe you want to reply to an inquiry, make a proposal, address a concern. Let's go ahead and just select reply to an inquiry here. It's going to start drafting this email and you can see it also indicated that it's reaching into Dynamics 365 for more information. It could be uh, specific to products, price lists, or other information related to Ryan Smith or Northwind Traders uh, based on the history of those activities on those records. So it's drafted this email for me. That's fantastic, but maybe I want to change the tone a little bit. I can click down uh, below here and add some more details, maybe even suggest a meeting time or adjust my tone. So if I want to go ahead and uh, adjust my tone, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll choose to select a uh, meeting time to suggest that we might want to reach out to Ryan Smith. And we're going to have Copilot redraft that email for us. So there we go. It's gone in, added a more friendly tone, and thrown that meeting time in there. And from there, I can go ahead and I can copy this content into a new email draft. Now let's take a look at how, if we wanted to track this email to a specific opportunity, we can leverage some additional features and functionality. So I'm going to go back into my Dynamics 365 tab and change the connected record. So I'm going to look for Northwind opportunity or Northwind Traders uh, opportunities that are available out there. So let's go ahead and grab this first one, 18 AirPod Coffee Makers, and we're going to update where this is being tracked to. So now I've got this email tracked to this specific opportunity, and we come back into my highlights here. I could go ahead and I could go in and make that response um, or, or generate a response leveraging Copilot as well. If I go into my Dynamics 365 tab, and I come into my 18 AirPod coffee makers, we're going to see where that email is being tracked. So there's that email from Ryan Smith showing up in my timeline. So I've got that here. I can open this opportunity up or uh, this, this email on this opportunity up. And now I've got some sales pilot 
sales copilot features that are still in preview that I can leverage inside of Dynamics as well. So it would help me generate a new email. Um, I could go in and I could get an opportunity summary available here as well. Uh, but that we're, we're leveraging Sales Copilot to track those emails into our timeline in Dynamics 365. And last but not least, we're going to show some Teams functionality that Sales Copilot is, is capable of inside of Outlook as well. So I've got this prior email with, from John Doe with an issue, but I've got a new one that came in where John is looking for a quote on three Cafe Grande espresso machines. And I've got this opportunity down here below that's showing up because John Doe is tied to the A Datum Corporation account inside of Dynamics 365. So if I jump over to my tab here, I'm gonna be able to see John Doe's contact record, different opportunities that are attached, as well as the account that John Doe is tied to. We can see Kevin Martin is the primary contact there. So if I go back into my highlights area, you can see down below I've got this new card showing up that says Collaborate in Teams. And if I go down to this three Cafe Grande Espresso machines, and if this happened to be an email that was tied to this opportunity, and I'm viewing records that are connected to the Datum Corporation, you can see I've got the option to set up a deal room. That button shows up as I highlight over specific opportunities. So I'm gonna to select to set up a deal room. It's gonna give me some options, so it's telling me that it's going to create a new Teams channel and it's going to enable Copilot, some OneNote functionality, as well as the option to chat with my colleagues. I can go ahead and I can use an existing team or I can create a new one. So if we want to maybe leverage an existing team, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll use the pre-sales team that's available inside of Teams that I've already created. We're going to just uh, jump on these, these pre-selected options here and allow this to go in and create this new channel for us. And now that we're in Microsoft Teams, you can see it actually created this channel for us. A couple other things you're gonna notice right away. Um, so it added the channel to the pre-sales team, which I asked. And then we've got our normal tabs for posts and files, but we've also got a tab for Dynamics and for OneNote up top. So if I open up the Dynamics tab, it's already pinned that specific record right to this Teams channel for me. And then I've got a OneNote file up top as well. So it's started this OneNote folder. I could go in and I could start creating notes here that are going to ultimately be tied to this Dynamics record also. I hope you enjoyed this short video on Dynamics 365 and how we're going to start leveraging Sales Copilot in Microsoft Outlook. Have a great day.